When you're choosing a laptop, it depends on what you want to do with it. If you want to carry it to school or work, you need a lightweight laptop. If you want to game with it, you need to get a bigger machine unless you pay the premium price. But what if this one covers everything and it will not break the bank? This is the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 2-in-1. With AMD Ryzen 5 4500U processor, a laptop that does a bit of everything, and the result will surprise you because it surprised me. Let's get started. This video is not sponsored by Lenovo. Instead, we used our hard-earned money to purchase the Flex 5 for the review. So we'll give you our user experience and hopefully you can use it as a reference before you purchase the laptop. Just like my other videos, let's get the drawbacks out of the way first. First, the display of this laptop is not the best. It is a 14-inch 1080p 60Hz display, but it is not the resolution or the refresh rate that makes it a weakness. It is how inaccurate the color is. It is only about 60-ish of the sRGB spectrum, and that might not be the most ideal color accuracy for photo or video editing that involves color correction. Brightness-wise, it is not the best too. At 250 nits of brightness, you can definitely use this device indoor, but maybe not out in the sun. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison to a MacBook Pro 16-inch with a P3 color gamut display. I'll let you be the judge. Someone asked me why we compare these laptops with the MacBook Pro. Well, the MacBook Pro display is the most color accurate display we have, so that's why. The second thing is the build quality. The Flex 5 is mainly made out of plastic. It has this almost sandstone kind of feeling to the bottom half of the laptop, and it feels really good. It doesn't feel cheap. I actually like it a lot, but of course, metal will be better for durability. Another thing is the port selection of the Flex 5. Here is the list of the ports. The major downside is the USB-C port. It is not a Thunderbolt 3 port and it is only for charging and data transfer. It doesn't even support video output to an external display. One super weird thing about the ports is they included a USB-C charger instead of a charger that goes to the dedicated charging port. Like, why? I'm pretty sure this is the body of last year model and now they just want you to charge your laptop with USB-C. If that's the case, why not just get rid of the charging port completely? I really have no idea, but this bugged me a lot. Also, the power button is on the right-hand side of the laptop, which makes it kind of hard to press. But they do have a feature when you open the lid of the laptop, it will turn on. I think every laptop should have that. The last thing is a very minor thing, which is upgradability. You can only change the SSD inside the Flex 5, and that's it. So when you're trying to get this laptop, try to get the one with more RAM so it can be more future-proof. All right, let's talk about the good things of the Flex 5. The first and the most important thing, speed. With the Ryzen 5 4500U, this computer is very snappy and fast. You won't feel any stuttering when you are using it for web browsing, research, documentation, watching videos, and more. This is a very capable device for work and school. With the integrated AMD Radeon graphics card, you will be able to do some casual gaming. You will get about 60 frames per second on some of the most popular games like Fortnite and CSGO at medium settings or 720p. For some non-GPU demanding games like The Paladins, you can get about 100 FPS at 1080p high settings, which is nice. Just don't expect to game at high settings on this laptop because it doesn't have a dedicated GPU like the ASUS TUF A15 that we reviewed. That one has a GTX 1650. For a light and thin laptop, this is definitely an enjoyable gaming experience on the go. Imagine yourself doing a little bit of gaming during break or lunchtime at work or school. Sounds pretty fun to me. The Flex 5 is also capable of doing some light video editing. 
Scrubbing through the timeline and exporting a 1080p video in DaVinci Resolve was a smooth experience. Just keep in mind if you are planning to use this laptop to edit videos, make sure you get the one with more RAM because video editing can be very RAM demanding. Again, remember, the color will not be too accurate. Another good thing about this laptop is the size and weight. It is only about 3 pounds, which is pretty average for an Ultrabook. Part of the reason is the smaller 14-inch display but it is definitely enjoyable to carry this laptop around. Talking about the 14-inch display, it is a touch display, which is pretty rare in a laptop at this price. The touch is very sensitive and precise. Of course, the smoothness and sensitivity cannot be compared to an iPad, but it is still a great bonus feature on a laptop. Since you can turn the Flex 5 into tablet mode, you can rotate it into portrait orientation, which is very nice for note-taking with the Lenovo pen, which for some reason it's not included in my model, so watch out. The next good thing of this laptop is, of course, the 360-degree folding hinge. It allows you to use the laptop in different modes. You can use it as a normal laptop. When you feel like doing some, let's say, drawings, you can put it in tent mode so the keyboard is not in the way, and you are now closer to the display. When you feel like picking it up and walk around with the Flex 5, you can fold the keyboard all the way to the back and use it like a tablet, like a very thick one. It reminds me of my iPad Pro with the smart keyboard folded to the back. You can't do this with a normal laptop. It is way cooler than holding onto a laptop to walk around. The hinge also looks very durable compared to other laptops. It looks like it is wrapped with a layer of metal, but I don't think the whole hinge is made out of metal. You can easily open the laptop with one hand and it actually gets stiffer when you hit certain angle, which is pretty nice. Just a small tip to maintain the durability on almost all the hinges in the laptop. Try to remember to open the laptop from the center of the lid instead of from the corner to reduce the torque applied to the hinge. That really helps. Earlier, I was talking about the lack of ports, but the Flex 5 has a port that a lot of laptops don't carry anymore, a full-size SD card slot. You won't believe how much we need this port as a content creator. Even a micro SD card slot is not as good because almost all my gear uses full-size SD card. I'm so happy that the Flex 5 has an actual SD card slot. The last good thing is actually pretty important for a lightweight laptop, that is battery life. This laptop comes with a 52 watt hour battery. With the AMD Ryzen 4000 series processor, the battery life of the Flex 5 is very respectable. I can get about 7 hours of normal use and about 3 hours of light gaming. That's it. If you're looking for a budget laptop that does not just a little bit, but quite a bit of everything, the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 with the AMD 4000 series processor is definitely worth considering. It is all about being able to use a light and fast computer on the go, and I think it delivers. If you like this video, click the like button to help this channel grow. YouTube seems to like that a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.